is a tutorial video of the application of the thesis Visible Light Computed Tomography. This application is composed by three user interfaces, data acquisition, cube creation and reconstruction. Open MATLAB and go into the VLCT folder. To open the first interface, write in the command line data acquisition. First of all, you have to plug in the webcam and check the connectivity by clicking the button Check Camera. If everything has gone right, you will see the webcam input in the video frame. You have to place a graph paper between the webcam and the object. Then click on Take Picture. Note that the graph paper must be totally vertical and parallel to the webcam lens in order to have the same amount of squares in the upper part and bottom part of the image. When that is done, count how many millimeters there are in the four sides of the image. Use zoom in and zoom out buttons if needed. Then insert all the data that you have gathered and click OK to validate it. The third step is similar to the second one but placing the graph paper behind the object. Later on we will need to know the distance between the two positions of the graph paper so measure it and note it down. Select the angle that you are going to move the object each rotation. Now introduce the gap distance between the two positions of the graph paper. When you are done, click Data Validation button. Take a picture and validate it or repeat it if needed. The object must be rotated and the same process must be done. Repeat it until you complete the 360 degrees you will get a confirmation pop-up. Press Exit to finalize. Let's open the second user interface which is called Interface Cube Creation. First of all, we have to check the size of the images. You can use the Windows Explorer Details menu. Fill in the boxes with this information. We need to reduce the images. Otherwise, the processor won't be able to work with them. Choose a subsampling rate between 1 and 10. Now we have to work a bit with the images in order to prepare them for the back projection. For that, we have to click on Check Images File and choose one of the pictures taken before. The selected image will appear in one of the four black frames of the interface. Then we click on HSV image and the selected picture is converted from RGB to HSV format. We have to select plain H, S or V with the numbers 1 2 or 3 respectively. The S plane is the most suitable to distinguish the object from the background. We validate the data clicking OK and the selected plane 
will appear in another of the black frames. To convert the images from gray scale to black and white format, we must define a threshold between 0 and 1. We must select the most suitable threshold in order to get the object as clear as possible and get rid of the background. To see the result, click on black and white image. Finally, we click on Cube Creation and all the images will be back projected. This process will take long time, so we have to wait until the final process window appears. Press Exit and confirm your choice. Finally, the third user interface is interface underscore reconstruction. The first thing we can do is to choose the color map. We have a pop-up menu and we can see the different options. The whole cube cannot be represented because of memory limitations, so we have to select a subsampling rate for each axis of the cube. Choose a number between 1 and 10 for each axis. The transparency of the reconstructed object is a value between 0 and 1. 0 for transparent and 1 for opaque. Then we have to select a threshold in order to remove the blurry part of the object and define more accurately the outline of the object. Again, a value between 0 and 1 has to be selected. Finally, we have to click on Reconstruction and then Reconstructed Object will appear after some minutes. Here we have the Reconstructed Object. There is a 3D Rotate button if you wish to visualize the reconstruction from another point of view. Clicking Exit, you will reach the end of the application.